Focal Point AF for Talk. I am Brian Fisher, your congenial, convivial, and amiable host, wearing my 49er gear, my 49er lanyard, boosting the boys as they get ready for the Super Bowl uh, on Sunday. So if you're watching on television or on video streaming, it's not something wrong with your set. You don't have to adjust the colors. That's me wearing my out loud and proud 49er colors. Honored to welcome to our Focal Point studio, Monica Cole. Monica, welcome. Thank you, Brian. Monica is the executive director of One Million, uh, One Million Moms, which is a division of the American Family Association. And Monica, uh, we've had you on frequently, and so most of our listeners are going to be familiar with One Million Moms. But for those that may be hearing about it for the first time, tell us briefly what One Million Moms is. Absolutely. OneMillionMoms.com is a group of Christian moms and grandmothers, just Christian women who are wanting to help make a difference for our children and it's an activist website, so we're able to let our voice be heard in holding Hollywood and corporate America accountable. And really, Monica, in some ways, you are carrying on in One Million Moms the original vision of Don Wildman. This is how he started. That's right. Is dealing with the content that we were being exposed to through network television, and you're carrying a, uh, you're now carrying the banner for that crusade. That's exactly right. He uh, founded AFA because of this very reason. The entertainment industry had gotten out of hand and he founded one million moms.com and just asked me to help lead the ladies to help make a difference. Now you've had some success. I think, you know, people like to know that something they're a part of something that they're giving to, and we encourage you to make a contribution to AFA to help the work of one million moms. Uh, but they like to know that their energy, their efforts, their contributions are being rewarded with some actual fruit. So tell us a little bit about some of the impact that one million moms has had both in sort of serving as a corrective to some negative program programming as well as boosting and helping supporting family-friendly programming. Yes, Brian, we've had many victories. Uh, it's a team effort, and we were uh, glad to know that when we contacted sponsors after contacting the networks, they were pulling their sponsorship from inappropriate programming, which resulted in MTV canceling the program Skins, and NBC canceling the Playboy Club. And ABC also had canceled GCB, which was Good Christian Bells, which I think most of you are familiar with. We worked on that for a while, and we won. And but the B originally didn't stand for Bells. That's it stand right. for what you can imagine it stood for. That's exactly right. And so we, we were successful in getting the name changed, but the content was just too much. It mocked Christianity. It was canceled, and ABC also canceled 666 Park Avenue. But as far as... Uh, and the 666, I mean, it had the name 666 yes. because it was about the devil inhabiting... Yeah, dark and evil. It was, It was. that's all it was, was uh, Satan and his work. And it just, um, it wasn't something that needed to be on broadcast airwaves. And so the uh, your network, the, the, the moms and grandmas, weighed in on that, got the attention of these uh, advertisers in particular that right. were sponsoring these programs. They pulled their advertising and the show's come off the air. Now, uh, we also want to encourage mm -hmm. family-friendly programming, and you got involved in a, in a project like that last year. We sure did, Brian. That was another, uh, another issue that we felt very strongly about is encouraging networks to have family-friendly programming. And uh, GSEN, which was previously Game Show Network, they had a program called the American Bible Challenge. And it was clean, family-friendly. I contacted them asking, was well, the commercials going to be family-friendly? And they got back with me and said they can guarantee it. And they held by their word. Their commercials were clean and family friendly. And One Million Moms sounded the trumpet to let our members know this is a great show for your family to watch together. We want to support programs like this so the networks will, will hear us loud and clear and know this is the type of programs we want. Out of their 17-year history, it is the highest rated show that they've ever had on their network. And so they're going to have a season two. And so we're excited about that. So One Million Moms, Monica, has had a very successful 2012. As we move into 2013, you've started a campaign to extend the network. Tell us about that and how people can get involved. Yes, uh, it's at a mom campaign. And so what we're excited about is knowing if we can make that much of a difference already, just imagine what we can do with double the impact, double the amount of supporters. And so at a mom campaign is just encouraging our members to invite just one mom, just one other lady to join us. And if everyone does that, just adds one person, then we can double 
our strength because there is strength in numbers, Brian. Mm -hmm. And if you're listening, you're a mom or you're a grandmother and you're listening and you have not become a member of One Million Moms, go ahead and do that today. If you're a grandmother, get your daughter, get your daughter-in-law signed up. If you're a daughter, get your mom, get your mother-in-law uh, signed up. Maybe we get a three for one uh, mm -hmm. on the deal. So Monica, uh, but, but the goal here is add a mom. Every mom who's a part of the One Million Moms Network to recruit one more mom over the course of this year to join the ranks. And how can people sign up? Yes, Brian, they can go to one million moms.com. Again, that's one million moms.com and they can register in about 30 seconds. And that's about all it takes to join. It doesn't cost anything to join, to let your voice be heard and to help make a huge difference. All right. Well, thank you. Monica thanks. Cole has been our guest, executive director of one million moms. Monica, thanks for slipping over to be with us. Thank you. All thanks. right. Monica Cole, one million moms. And again, you know what she's talking about, the impact that they've had on a number of prominent programs that were objectionable in terms of the content. And the One Million Moms Network weighed in. They contacted advertisers. They were successful at making these significant changes in programming and not just kind of stopping the bad stuff, not just kind of rooting out the weeds that were out there, but also supporting a quality family-friendly program like the American Bible Challenge. So One Million Moms is the place to go, one millionmoms.com.